You know, I experienced the same exact thing uh, when I got into real estate investing. It was like, my lands, where has this been all my life? And, um, you know, my very first real estate investing seminar that I went to, I had already been doing this business for six years. Uh, my lands don't start out that way. Get your education first. But I was cut off and lost my lines of credit in January 2009. And that's what triggered me to go to my first educational seminar was to learn about private money. And, and that's what got me going this world of private money. So you got in there 18 months after uh, getting your education, you retired from the uh, firefighting and uh, paramedic world. Um, what were, what were some of your early struggles when you started out and what's the lessons learned from it? Yeah, that's a great question. The biggest struggle I ever had with my, was with my own head. Um, you know, growing up a, a blue collar guy, now moving into a white collar world, it was very hard for me to believe early in my career that people would sell assets to me for a discount. It was, I, I, it was self-worth. Like I did a ton of personal development to, as part of my business development. Um, believing that I was worthy, believing that I had something of value, which was which was my education, which was the way that I I looked at a real estate transaction. Um, and as you do, here's the here's the key, I think, Jay. And I don't know if you agree with this. I, I I anticipate that you do. As long as I was always in motion, in forward motion, as long as I was putting honestly my very best effort, one foot in front of the other. If I was removing the negativity around me, the people who said you can't, I loved it when somebody said I can't because I, I I'd immediately turn it to I can and I'd just execute, you know, and nah, 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 on the way by as I succeeded, you know. Um, so it was it was working on my mind first. Guy said to me, Dave, he said, "There's six inches of detrimental thinking that lives between your ears." He said, "And only you can control that." Only you can. Are you wealth? Are you confidence? Are you joy? Are you value? He said, because if you believe you are, then that will resonate to the people around you. And I started looking at opportunities where I could bring massive value. And it wasn't money driven, Jay. It wasn't money. Money was the byproduct of service first, helping a distressed homeowner, looking after your contractors and treating them like, like equals, not like, you know, uh, like they were a lesser citizen or whatever, leaving my pride and my ego and parking it to one side, stepping into every relationship with everybody being at a hundred and losing points rather than being at zero and always having to gain points. You know what I mean? I bought an attitude of gratitude to, to everything that I did. And, um, you know, I just kept going, man. There's a book out there. It says, uh, I think it's uh, six inches short of gold or six feet short of gold. And the idea is, is, you know, is it just that one more phone call? Is it just that one more offer? Is it just that one more relationship? Are you going to quit before it's time to succeed? And what happens is, is 90% of our competition, if not higher, quits. And that's why guys like us succeed, because we stay the course. We have the tenacity. We have the drive. We have the faith, the belief. And uh, again, surrounding myself with, with like-minded people who wanted to do what I was doing. And uh, that overcame any hurdle. There aren't hurdles. They're just little blips along the radar. It's as simple as that. Well, what you just said, Dave, is one of the reasons that you and I resonate so well with each other. And that is, it's never about the money for the long term. You know, making a lot of money can be a motivation for somebody in the short term. But you know, it's been my experience over all the years of being in business, whenever I got involved in an activity or an opportunity and the only interest that I had in that opportunity was to make money, I never succeeded. I never yeah. succeeded. And it all comes down to what you just said, having a servant's heart. I mean, you know, yeah. I, I know you got to love Zig Ziglar like I love Zig Ziglar, right? And you know, like- Right on my wall, right on my wall right there. <laughs> You can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. Zig Ziglar. It's right there on my wall, brother.